Now, so far in all the videos regarding the storyboard, the video area over here in the black area, that's actually been a fixed portion. You're not able to move that. You can click on it and nothing happens here. Uh, we obviously want to give you the ability to put the video wherever you want and whatever size and so forth you might want to have here. So to do that, you have to use actually one of the inherent features of Excel. It's called the developer option up here. I'm going to click on this. You see it brings up a whole other set of options here. Uh, that is normally not there in most people's default installation of Excel because this is to do with some of the stuff we're doing in terms of programming and so forth here. So you probably don't get that there as default. So the way you set that up, to show it on your ribbon here, you go to File and you're going to go to Options here. When you get the options up, you want to go to the ones that say Customize Ribbon, this option right here. And you will find over here there will be an option. And in your case, in many cases, the developer will not be checked. And if that's the case, you will notice now I do not have a developer in my ribbon here. So I want to have that available. You need to have it available if you want to size and uh, resize and move the, uh, the video area here. Only the person who's creating the storyboard itself, the person using it, will not need to have this here. So what you do is you go to File, you're going to go to Options, you're going to say Customize Ribbon, and you will check the option that says Developer here. It'll typically not be checked by default. And that will put the Developer option on here. Then all you do is you click on the Developer, and down here, there's many things in here. We'd recommend you don't mess around too much here. But the one you want to click on is the design mode, this one right here. And it suddenly disappears, right? But if you click on it, you'll see there's the size. So I can shrink it down and I can bring it back. I, un I click on the design mode again. Now I've got a small video, right? Or I can make it, I can move it around here. If I put it back on, now I can move it anywhere I like. I click on it. And maybe I want to reorganize everything in my, my panel here. So I can move this over here, maybe move this here. So I'm changing everything around here. I'm going to grab my video. I'm going to put it over here this time. I'm going to make it bigger. So I'll make it fit in this space. I might flick these around so I could take this guy here, uh, turn it off. I want to move items here. I, want, I need to move them here. right? And then I want to take the time one here and move it over here. Uh, maybe move that first. Too many moves here. So I want to move that up, grab this guy, and take it up here. And the time I'll retype that. So I'm just going to take that out of here when I move everything around here. Find the cell with the time in it, which is here. And delete it. OK, and then I want to put my video back here. So my video is here. I'm going to take this guy and move, uh, move it across here. Put the time over here. Oh, because I've got to un uncheck this, move this guy. Right, and here's my video here. So you can see this is design mode on or off lets you see it here. So now I've reorganized everything in my, my area. I just need to put in the, the, the text here again for the time. So I'm going to line it up here and say it's time. I want to make it bigger. So again, it's just all standard Excel, nothing special happening here. So I'm going to go to my home. I'm going to uh, make it bold and I'm going to make it uh, 24. Right, and then make this guy come to the right spot, line it up here. And now we can save it. Now we've reorganized our entire uh, storyboard here. I just do the same as I always do. I go to File, Save As, make sure it's going into the Applied Computer Services Templates, Storyboard, the Excel, Excel, Excel TM format, the Excel Micro Enabled Template, and I save it. I replace it. I now if I go back to my sample here, and I hit the right button here, and I go to Storyboard, it generates all my information again. Now I go to the storyboard. I've got my new layout here and I just click on the play over here and it plays back in the new format right here. Obviously, you want to make sure the uh, you don't make it too big. If you know your size of your video, I made that a little bit big here. You see the black lines on either side. So my video space is bigger than the actual video. So I'd probably go back in and shrink it down there to make it fit better there.